get the first day that I was in my intro to computer science lab, our TA asked us to raise our hands. Basically, this is how it went. Raise your hand if you are a Mac user. And I raised my hand, and out of like the 25 people who were in the lab, there were probably only like me and two others who had a Mac, and everyone else had a PC. Now, the interesting thing is, is that most of my professors in computer science and electrical engineering actually had MacBooks. They weren't, most of them were not PC users. Most of them had Macs. And I always found that really interesting how most of the students choose PC, but most of the professors choose Mac. Now this video isn't gonna be like a comparison between um, Mac and PC or which laptop is right for you. I will give my own opinion at the end of this video. If you are interested in me doing a which laptop is the best laptop for CS or software engineering majors, then um, just comment down below, compare some video and give this video a thumbs up. Guys, this is actually like my favorite season. Okay, fall is technically my favorite season because I think it's so beautiful. And my birthday is around Thanksgiving time. Actually, I was born on Thanksgiving. It's another story for another day. But I love summer because you can just get up and do stuff without having to throw on 10 pounds of clothing. So one thing that I learned out of the gate about my MacBook Pro that I love is the terminal that was built inside the operating system or the computer in general. And the reason being is because it was very similar to the Linux machines that we had in our computer science labs. So I was able to quickly adapt to learning terminal commands. Another thing that I love about Mac and just Apple in general is the reliability you get from MacBooks. Honestly, they just work take them out of the box and they just work. I know that a big part of choosing a laptop is budget and I understand that MacBooks typically cost a lot more than PCs. However, my opinion, it's worth it because you're just gonna have a reliable laptop that's gonna work you know, most of the time, if not the whole time throughout college. And to fix your laptop, one thing I've noticed is that, okay, so there was a time where my MacBook Pro just stopped working and this was at the end of junior year so i had this laptop for four years without any problems and um, i had to like fix i think it was a motherboard and apple gave me a new display or whatever but all that only cost 250 dollars because apple had like this program where basically no matter what's wrong with your laptop it's just a 250 dollar deductible that you have to pay and that was great i was able to get my laptop fixed for 250 dollars and another thing is I was like, okay, I decided that it was time to upgrade my laptop because my MacBook Pro was just too slow. It was what, 2017? And my MacBook Pro was like a 2012, so it was five years old, and it was just too slow, especially when it came to some of the things that I had to do for computer science. So I would recommend getting a 16 gigabyte of RAM laptop if you can, especially if you are doing Xcode or any like iOS development. If this little tidbit of information helps at all, the smartest professor, if not the smartest person I've ever met in my life had a MacBook Pro, and all of my favorite professors had MacBook Pros. Since I was an engineering student, if I was gonna go with Mac, then a MacBook Pro is a must-have. I did have the MacBook Air for my last year of college, and that was a bad experience, not really because of the speed outside of using Xcode and doing iOS development, but because I got 128 gigabytes of storage and that's just too small no matter what your major is. Unless you're gonna be using something like iCloud or Dropbox or carrying around an external hard drive every day, which I wouldn't recommend because you're on the go so much in college, the last thing you want is to forget your external hard drive at work for a project you're supposed to be working on or a paper you're writing. Portability is so important, especially if you're a college student in the Midwest or Northeast 
sort of East Coast, or if your campus is just big. One thing I loved about having a Mac in college is that they don't weigh very much, and depending on how your semester is laid out in terms of your courses, you may be carrying around some heavy books. So when you add the weight of your laptop, your water bottle, your lunch box, your gym clothes, your books, and any other accessories, it can get quite heavy. This is an underrated feature as a high schooler. You really don't think about this very much because you're just walking back and forth inside the building, of course, to different classes. But in college, if you go to a school that has a pretty large campus, you're gonna want your accessories, your technology to be as portable as possible and as light as possible, especially during those dog days of summer when you're walking to and fro class and you're freshmen or sophomore you're underclassmen so you have courses so you have classes all around campus because you're taking some of your gen eds and it gets hot during the summertime and you start sweating and it's just a gross feeling trust me i know i'm a sweater Aww. Being in Apple's ecosystem, another very underrated feature. I know some people don't want to be knee deep into the ecosystem because you feel like you can't get out, but there are some benefits to it, especially as a college student. Being in the ecosystem is great, especially if a lot of your friends have Macs and iPhones and iPads. And if you're a non-engineering major, most of your friends are probably going to be Mac users. I remember all the classes I would be in that were outside of Russ College of Engineering. Most of the students had MacBook Airs or MacBook Pros, which was refreshing to see because I didn't really see that in engineering college as much. I found so much value in AirDrop. My friends and I would AirDrop each other documents, notes, things that we needed to prepare for an exam or studying for midterms or finals. The AirDrop feature is really nice. Or let's say you're taking pictures of notes that your professor took because your handwriting is horrible like mine or they wrote something down at the end that you don't feel like is necessary for you to actually have in your notebook because you want to have it at your disposal all the time and you take a picture a lot of a lot of students take pictures nowadays of notes of assignment due dates i know i did that a lot you can just airdrop it to your laptop or to your friends and then there's iMessaging which is dope because you can text on your laptop and it looks like you're taking notes because your professors are typically not behind you and they're in front of you so it looks like you're taking notes, but you're really texting your friends in this group chat, that's super funny. Okay, I don't recommend doing that because you wanna make sure that you're paying attention to your professor, but there are some benefits to having iMessage on your laptop. Let's say your professor is talking about a topic that you don't really understand, you can just text the group like, hey, I don't understand this, can someone explain, it? explain this to me? quickly someone explain this to me and they can quickly get back to you and you can still stay productive without having to go on your phone. Egronomics. Hello, trackpad. I love you. The most underrated feature for laptops. You don't realize how nice it is to have a big, functional, responsive, haptic feedback capable trackpad until you don't have one. This is the very reason why so many people love MacBooks, especially programmers and video editors and designers. If you're an engineering major or a nurse or a business major, it really doesn't matter. We're all gonna be on our computers a ton, writing papers, projects, programs, you name it. Online classes, just so, so, we spend so many hours on our laptops and our computers. So you wanna make sure that your laptop has good, has a good, e has a good ergonomically friendly, is that, is that the right thing to say? Trackpad can make a huge, the trackpad can make a huge difference in your effectiveness and having a large trackpad is just good for your wrist. All in all, the two Macs that I had in college were very convenient. They work right out of the box, whether they're open box, refurbished, used, they just work. If you are considering getting a Mac, my recommendation is to either go the refurbished route or the open box route at Best Buy or Micro Center. Keep in mind, if you see a good deal at Micro Center, Best Buy typically will, not typically, Best Buy does price match. So if you see a good deal at like B&H Photo or something like that another or another reputable place, then tell um, the person that's working at Best Buy that's trying to get you a new MacBook about those deals. And obviously you wanna use those student discounts because you can save hundreds. So yeah, those are my experiences using a MacBook Pro and a MacBook Air, but mostly in college I had a MacBook Pro. If you liked this video at all, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who you think might find value in watching this video, and comment below some of your thoughts if you're a MacBook user or even if you're a PC user and some of the benefits from having a PC. If you are interested in a MacBook, my recommendation for technical majors is to get a MacBook Pro that if 
if you can afford it, that's the laptop that you should get. Definitely stay away from the MacBook and stay away from the Air unless it's 256 gigabytes or even 512 gigabytes. And if you're a non-technical major, the MacBook Air is a great, great computer. It's fast, the screen is nice, resolution is great, it's portable, it's lightweight, and it has the longest lasting battery, so that's a great laptop. With that being said, that is the end of this video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you already hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the bell so you know whenever I'm dropping a video, you get that notification and you can comment first. All right, I'll see y'all later. Peace. Your laptop.